So this is how to uh, separate uh, two liquids with a uh, separating funnel. Uh, first of all, before you pour your liquids in through the, uh, the funnel, you want to check that the tap is closed. And uh, we're just using uh, an aqueous solution and, and some diethyl ether here, but the liquids can be anything. So you gently pour your liquids in there. Sometimes you can lift the funnel up to mean you don't get any um, any kind of bubbling of the uh, of the liquids as they pour in. Yeah, to uh, you've got to shake this to make sure the liquids are um, coming into contact with each other effectively. And so you've got to hold that stopper in place when you invert it. And as soon as you invert it, you want to um, release the tap, so you release any pressure that might have built up. You give it a really good shake, and again release the pressure. Particularly with ether, you can get quite a lot of pressure built up in these things. Uh, release again. And then keeping hold of that stopper, you invert it back again. Sit it in the, in the ring there, and you want to take that stopper out. Okay, great. And so what you do now is you let the, the layers uh, separate. And it's a good idea to crack down at this point and to have a good look at them. Because um, I'm going to take a little while for the, for the layers to separate out. You can see there we've got a we've got a kind of bubbles that are formed. Uh, it takes a little while for those to, to dissolve back in their respective layers, and, and you get one a nice crisp line like that. So once they are all uh, separated, you can uh, release the, the one that you want. So you do that by opening the tap up and uh, drain out the, the lower layer into the conical flask. And it becomes easier to see when to stop when the, the level of the, the liquid in the interface gets towards the narrow part of the separating funnel. So you can kind of close the tap a little bit like that and, and slow it down and get to a point where you've let just enough through Like that, perfect. So then uh, those two are effectively separated. And that's how to separate two liquids with a separating funnel.